In this problem, we're trying to determine the time it takes our satellite to make one complete orbit of our planet or moon. In this case, we have a satellite going around one of Jupiter's moons, and we're trying to figure out how many hours it takes to make one complete revolution. First thing to realize is that it tells you how far the satellite is from the surface of the planet. That's the altitude. It is 2,000 and 33 kilometers up. We want to take this number and we want to change it obviously into meters. And then we'd like to take that number of meters and add it to the radius of the planet. That will give us the size of the orbit. That'll give us the radius of the satellite's orbit. So take the Altitude in meters plus the radius of the object you're revolving around and add them together. With that, you can then find the force of gravity on the satellite. So for universal gravitation, we use our gravitational constant. We do the mass of the satellite, the mass of the planet. We do the distance between the center of the planet and the center of the satellite. That's the radius we just calculated. Once we get our force, that is the net force that is making the object accelerate. So we use acceleration equals force net over mass, with gravity being the force. This acceleration is not changing the speed of the satellite, but changing its direction. So we use our circular acceleration formula, and that would be acceleration equals v squared over r. The r that we use is not the radius of the planet, but the radius of the orbit. That is, the altitude in meters plus the radius of the planet goes in here. Once you get the speed of the satellite, you can just do velocity equals distance traveled over time. And the distance traveled for one orbit would be the circumference of the orbit. So you have the distance, circumference, you have the velocity from the equation for acceleration plug that in and get your time. Convert your time into hours and you've solved your problem.